Argo is an incredibly fascinating story for CIA because it utilizes so many different things. It utilizes our partnership with Canada in order to get the documents that we need in order to exfiltrate six State Department officers who are hidden in the Canadian Embassy at that time. This is a period of time when uh, Iranian militants had taken over the U.S. Embassy in 1979, and luckily these six State Department officers were out and about that day, and so when they saw what had happened, they took refuge with the Canadians. Because of that, we had to figure out a way of how are we getting them out of the country? And so Tony Mendez, who's the one, the architect of this idea, he said he came up with the best bad idea they could, they could think of. And this was what is sort of the backstory of the people who are there and why are they, you know, leaving that country. And so the backstory was that they were part of a location scouting crew for a movie, a movie called Argo. And the history of Argo is that we knew of uh, uh, the makeup artist on who was brought in to consult on the initial script for Argo, and so he knew Tony, and so when Tony said, I need a script that would, you know, have a Middle East location to it, can you think of a movie? And he said, I got the perfect one for you. Uh, it's called Argo. Didn't, didn't go anywhere, so they bought it for a few thousand bucks. Uh, over a weekend, they set up a, a whole production crew, a uh, production studio out in Hollywood. They even take out ads in Variety magazine about Argo. They even have a reading of the script Argo, bringing in actors to read it over. And so people are getting interested in this movie Argo. But the real story is it's just going to be a backstory so that when Tony goes with his partner over to, uh, to Iran and they go through that airport to leave the country, if they're questioned by anyone, they'll say, well, we're part of a location crew for the movie Argo, and they'll be able to tell them all about what they've done and show uh, the backstory, ads in Variety Magazine, that sort of thing, so that uh, you know, we make sure to get them out safely. My favorite part of the story is that when Tony Mendez gets on the flight to leave Iran, one of the uh, State Department officers looks at him and says, Tony, you guys thought of everything. And Tony goes, what do you mean? And well, this was a, a Swiss Air flight, and so they had painted the, the plane to reflect one of the cities in Switzerland. And so that was this, the, the city of Argau that they were getting on that plane. So I think that's a great you know, end to the story. They get on the plane and, and off to freedom. So a lot of the movie Argo is pretty accurate, it sounds like. In the movie Argo, there's a lot of, of historical accuracy to the movie. In fact, they filmed here at headquarters to make sure they had that historical accuracy, which is something we don't normally do. But they also, you know, by the end of the movie, I think, maybe go a little bit astray. I don't think there was uh, gunfire on the, uh, you know, tarmac as the plane was leaving. That's Hollywood, you know, you gotta, you gotta juice it up. The truth is, there were so many different parts to the movie Argo, and it's reflected in the movie about how complex it was to carry it out. Well, you mentioned Anthony Mendez, and he's, he's passed away. His wife is, it, it, his widow is still alive, I believe, John Mendez, but they've written books about their work with the CIA. What was his role? Tony Mendez was the chief of disguise here at CIA, and he was also part of the exfiltration team. We have a painting here that shows him and uh, his partner. Uh, his partner is still undercover to this day, so you don't know about his partner. That's also a bit of uh, something here at CIA that's very different is you might learn about one part of the story, but there's a whole part of the story that might take years or even decades before you find out the whole story. And so one day, perhaps this partner will tell his side of the story and you'll learn even more about the story of Argo. Is Tony Mendez's work on display here in the museum? If you look through the artifacts of Argo, you can see 
what uh, Tony did. In fact, he did the artwork for the Variety ad. Uh, he was a graphics artist. He, uh, after he retired, became a painter. So uh, it's great to have his trade craft on display here at CIA.